All right, wait, what? What's this? I don't know. All right, wait, what? What's this? I don't know. My webcam has been a little bit fiddly lately. Loki kind of uh, frustrated by it. So, if I deactivate and reactivate, have you tried turning it off and back on again? Well, I guess we can move over this overlay so that it kind of looks like it's part of the game. But my webcam, my body, please. It's in Corpula, I swear. Hmm. Have you tried unplugging it and plugging it back in again? Have you tried turning it off and back on again? I've been having problems with this webcam. Very significant problems. Uh, there we go. Okay. Perfect. So, we are going to have... Sorry about that, guy. We are going to be continuing our Carthage game in Millennium. Um, just having a little bit of fun here. Uh, probably going to be a little bit of a shorter stream. This is not one of the scheduled streams, so um, we'll see how long it goes. I did want to try and play around three hours, because I'm at 33 hours right now, and I wanted to do a 36-hour review of Millennia, so kind of wanted to get there uh, for today for some video recording, because I did want to review it, and also the question everyone asks when they pop in is, how's Millennia? And then I ask, how's your mother? And, you know, so on and so forth. And so, um, yeah. We are continuing on in this way. Uh, and so I think we took care of everything. Because this is generally what we do in these games. Is we take care of everything before we pass the turn. But did we truly? Um, we could use another furnace. The problem is is we're going to get a, ne a higher level furnace. That's going to be able to smelt more. And then we're going to feel stupid. Because we're going to have too many furnaces. Hmm. But the second furnace will help a lot for now. Because then we'll be able to build a toolsmith. Alright. Radioactive. Big nice. Uh, we're going to reject open borders uh, because reasons. Wow, they really have our explorer trapped here. Uh, let's just regroup him. Because uh, he hasn't been able to get through for a while now. Um, and we have plenty of explorer ex exploration XP. We have this uh, very cursed uh, thing here. Someone told me that I just need to move a merchant to someone else's territory and trade with them and then I'll be able to do the trade imports but I think you need a combination of merchant and an embassy um and I would be able to foreign import but I, we can't foreign import anything we have a merchant and an embassy in Ankara but they might not have any resources it looks like they they're not doing too well and so uh yeah Cleanse that outbreak. We're at plus 200% with a lot of stuff, except for in Phoenicia. Um, and I think we're getting rid of the barbs here, so let's kind of... I think we're moving our troops down to here, in a general sense. We'll have all these guys fortify up. Just getting ready to, you know, use the spice. And then these guys will also come down to Mount Olympus. How's everyone do this morning? Doing good? I worked out yesterday uh, for the at the gym for the first time in a while. Uh, and my body is in a lot of pain. Kind of this next day, as it were. Definitely feeling the pain. Especially in the footsie woodsies. 
Hello, Arkovich. Gary Cash. Hi, Generalist. Hello. Can I ask an off-topic question? Yeah, you can ask about Victoria 3. I was just wondering what you think of the Netherlands and Victoria 3 should spend their early game infamy on Belgium, South Africa, or reducing autonomy in the, uh, on the East Indies. I think, ideally, you would want to subjugate Belgium. Uh, I think very first you go after South Africa, though. Um, I don't think you uh, really want to reduce autonomy and then annex the South, Indi South Indies very aggressively because relative to the population, you're really not getting enormous amounts of resources. Um, so... If there was a way you can make them pop apart, you would actually prefer that. Now, let's see here. We're generating some unrest here. Why don't we go City Guard next? But yeah, the, the, I would recommend uh, Borneo and South Africa going for those pretty early. I think we're going to get capped here soon. Let's build a granary after. could actually just rush this. It's not too big a deal. In theory, we would want to rush where we... Well, we don't have a lot of money. Uh, rush where we don't have... Uh... Here, let's get rid of this guy. Rush where we don't have a lot of production. Which there we don't quite have the most production. Um, not sure where we want to found a city. I think we want to found a city such that we can make... Uh, so... Well... Do we want to utilize this iron over here? If we found a city... Such that we can make... So we, if we found a city basically exactly where Numba is... Right? Then we will get access to a lot of this over here. And we just have to think about where it is we want to be placing our towns. I think Argus, we want our third town to be up, expanded up this way. Uh, which leaves us space down here. To do some stuff. We have to keep in mind Phoenicia just finished a building. Or finished a crossbowman. So because they already have guys garrison there, it won't give us... Oh, wait. Where's the crossbowman? Because he's not in here. Just got a couple prospectors. Wait, where's the crossbowman? Did we already move him? We must have already moved him. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we could spawn a settler. Jesus, I don't know where we're supposed to settle. I wish... I really wish you had map tax in this game, too. Because, like, we identify a place we want to settle, and then it's not going to do anything. Um, exploration. We can spot another prospector. We can just keep doing that, but... I mean, eventually, maybe we go for the gold. Maybe there's a world where we want to settle someone here? I don't think so. I think we just want to use a couple outposts to ship food back. That's about what I was thinking. Thank you for confirming. Yeah, the the best expansion spots are always the best. If you can do the Peru thing, that'd be really sweet. If you don't mind safes coming, you could definitely deck on Peru and see who will join you. If uh, like Brazil joins you, you can uh, you can fight Bolivia like as anyone uh, if Brazil's willing to join. Uh, and if you put in a lot of conscripts before you do that, and you just want to do that in the first ten years or so. The quick integration of South Africa is pretty OP. Subjugate Belgium and wait five years. Reduce autonomy and click form United Netherlands. Yeah, that's basically the, the strategy. The strategy's uh, new millennium update fixed some bugs. The strategy's pretty much the same for every country. Uh, which is that... Or, like, uh, Peru. Th there's, like, four expansion spots that are just so clearly uh, ahead of everywhere else. And that's the... Taking Peru. Um... Uh, South Africa, Brunei, Brunei probably just being like the most efficient possible, and then Bahrain, uh, and to a lesser extent Najd. Uh, and and uh, you just like, I don't know, if, you, if you're not taking that, what are you doing with your life, you know what I mean? I guess we'll, we're, we'll send these guys down here. There's maybe a world where we want to make a mining town. Um, from this, but I think we put plop a city here with the idea of oh, we're gonna plop a town like here, um, and then we're also going to plop a town probably here. 
uh, for the olives and the wine. And you, 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 we head towards a mysterious jungle. It's so mysterious. I suppose we don't need to stay in Olympia, but staying can help reduce the, the turmoil, so maybe that's okay. I forgot we got a cannon. Let's move that over here. I think we're gonna be fighting them, so... I think... Let's, uh... Move this guy here. Let's have the scouts come back here. And heal up. And then... Uh, I think we're in okay shape here. What do you think they'll do with the strategic warfare system and the nukes? I haven't nuked anyone. I don't think... I don't remember even being able to build nukes. I'm sure there are nukes in the game, I just don't recall. And maybe, uh, maybe because I went the, the, the like, underwater uh, utopia age, maybe that age doesn't have any nukes. Okay. Kind of awkward. Really would like to culture power here. Looks like we already did some damage, or someone did some damage. Let's skip ahead. I think we gathered the resource here. Let me move this guy down. This guy can replace the lowest health guy. Cannon can just continue its move. I think we're okay just fortifying. I do think we have the, the Spice Merchant upgrade that does give Caravan Guard, so... Kind of feeling pretty good about where we stand relative to them. Ooh. So Olympia now needs... Uh, luxuries. Is there a good way for us to provide it? We have a weaver there. Oh man, I'm so tired. Um, how are we doing in terms of producing religious texts? That is where... Yeah, that's... Hmm, the religious text is how we're fulfilling our luxury in the other city. And we could send we could send a religious text to Olympia, but then we would have less of it. Don't have enough food here, which is a little wild. So let's kind of handle that as well. I said let's handle that as well. So let's put gather. Let's gather. Sweden farm. Because we just the growth is more important than the constru the construction of stuff from Argos here. But it looks like even then we're in fine shape. Um, really do want to rush this, but I don't I don't know what we're what we're doing here. If we rush it. It's been a while. I think that we've already used a lot of our Eurekas. I guess we could just Well I think we're just supposed to rush, but Maybe we're supposed to do cutting edge. Could do propaganda, but I think propaganda is good when you have a high number and a low percent, because we're just gonna roll a negative event here anyways. So we could do, uh, I mean, we could local reform Argos to get it online faster. This kind of feels not that great. Um, we could create a town. Don't really know where we would want to create a town. I suppose we could buy a tile and then like create a town we would need to buy two tiles and then create a town right here. And that seems like a decent enough spot for a town for Argus, for their final town. Except for we're an idiot and we can't read because we only have two. Um, I'm talking about future DLC. What do you think they should do? I don't really know what I think this game needs um, other than like 
balance the multiplayer out yet, I don't know. Hey journalist, hey trusted Chilean writer. Hi right, chat, come uh come to leave a like and finish my work before I sit to watch. Big nice. Cooking kitchens is the best for luxury food. I don't think we have access to those yet. Yeah, we don't have access to that yet. Plus 50 improvements a turn. I'm in Age of Plagues and sitting on plus 5. Uh, to be fair, we have Phoenicia uh, where we've built every everything except Palisades and we're using levy workers. So a big portion of this is coming from levy workers. It's generating 33. We're also at the very end of this age. We're aging up. Um, uh, I don't need... I feel like we're supposed to... I mean, we can just spawn another Prospector. Don't want to waste the, the stuff. And then we have a Culture Power. So the one... I'm thinking between Ray's Army and Cutting Edge, but honestly, like, Cutting Edge is... Uh, gonna be significantly better. Also considering local reforms... Can it, can it even grow faster than this speed anyways, though? I'm not sure it can. And then local reforms... I mean, here it would allow Phoenicia to grow faster. We could also Eureka, 48 knowledge, that's three turns worth of research. I think I prefer Cutting Edge at that point. I don't know if that's the right call, but... So where have we not scouted? Kind of where there are two barb camps, which is maybe not ideal. Let's come here. We can protect our flank at least over there. OB has made a city guard. Nice. Uh, a watch might have been better, but let's go Pius University. Into probably treasury. Oh no. You're already close to an innovation, I know, but like, we roll over a third of it at least. Is that the vassals of Carthage? Good thing we have that guy like right there, huh? And then... Move these guys over, I suppose. And then let's keep the cannon going. Yeah, we're gonna have a little more guys than we have jobs. Alright, let's slot this guy backwards. Have him recover up. Have this guy come in. This should work. Hopefully. Should be it, right? Nope, I guess not. And we lose a guy. Tragic. Uh, we'll probably just replace it with a scout, to be honest, for the next turn push. So we'll work on getting the settler there. You can do a little bit of this action, right? Because we're going to want to take these guys out anyways. I think we're probably all right there. I think that's our only vassal too, so. Vassals don't seem to generate very much income, so. Turn of clouds and it becomes dark. Hey Paul, how's it going? They did update this to make it more clear that it's outbreaked. I do like that. 
not very visually clear before. Alright. I think we're kind of waiting on getting able to get into Trade Network. This is what we're kind of wanting to go for. Yeah, we can't trade with uh, Turkey any of the resources. <laughs> I don't think so, my guy. Uh, but with that in mind, I think we get ready to move a squad over to defend this outpost. Maybe we should have never left it. We're approaching overflow here, so we'll upgrade the farms that we had put off upgrading. Because they weren't uh, the upgrade does nothing for us when we already have enough food. Um, Alright, so here, we'll take the highest health guy, we'll put him in here, and we'll send these guys in. Actually, this is exactly where we would want a city, huh? So, <laughs> considering this is exactly where we would want a city, why not just let him in? Uh, which, of course, begs the question where the settler's going. Or it raises the question. Probably doesn't beg the question. Um, it's close enough for a road, or is that my eyes not... Um, being nice with me. Um, I think we can just keep this guy in here and we wait to see what those guys do exactly. Um, well, these guys actually, let's move back here. Let's keep the 200 guys together. Just move there for now. We'll cleanse this. Alright, so Argos finishes its granary, so that's also going to keep the food high. Um, let's get a look out in the town center so we can generate a little bit more XP. Actually, Civic Monument's probably the way to go. Into this. Now... I think we want... No, we don't really need that XP right now. So let's do that. Is Blenny a good game, or is it released like most people? Well, so Paradox didn't develop this game. This was developed by C-Prompt Games. And I enjoy the game a lot, but I, I don't know if I would say it's like... Wait, what? What happened? Accepted what? Well, we got that defended now. And now we can build towns and attach them over here. So this is going to be this is going to be nice for us. I don't know what we're doing. We should be healing up inside the, the thing. Let's try and kill some of these. So how long do we have? 19 turns on integration. Okay. Um, I think we do want a town over there, but we're going to have to clear out the guy. Hopefully they attack us with everyone and it makes clearing out a little bit easier. I guess we could start stacking over here, too. Another army. Um, and I guess we can stop levying workers. Switch to some crossbowmen. And then... Or a crossbowmen. How's performance like gaming with 43? Is it any better than 1.5? Yeah, it's a little bit better. It's roughly the same, though. Let's just spawn the settler. 
We're not going to upgrade an Imperial Dynasty. I think we might do Volunteers, because we're not getting a new unit type anytime soon. We're going to Volunteers in there. And then... Oh, you know what? We can Instead of stacking Miletus, we could go to Constantinople. That's probably a little bit better. Ah, uh, Miletus and going after this might be good. We'll see. So now we gotta find a new place for a city. So I guess maybe down here? Ish? And let's link up. Either way. I don't know where this settler's supposed to go, man. I guess in this direction. We end the turn here. Man, I really wish I could put map tax down. Your government XP is maxed and it's giving me anxiety. It's not quite maxed. It's only up to like... It's close to max. What are we supposed to use it on, my guy? We're gonna get a replacement for this. I like how the barbs maintain relevance. It is kind of nice. Uh, they get like higher level equipment too, I think. Alright, so we get attacked by a couple guys at least. We're gonna stack in the lettuce. Yeah, the fact that Ankara is also going to be helping us out is nice. Let's explore this. Uh, we don't really have too much use for this, so we're just gonna use that. Um, we would love to put a town there. Just have two settlers kind of chilling. Think we win this? Maybe we're just supposed to chill out though. And now the problem is we want to place a town. We want to buy the the culture, the the last little bit of it, and then place a town. But we want to place it right there. <laughs> so I guess we just have to wait. I think we want another town there. Uh, I think we just go another crossbow here. We could go bow hunter. That might be able to be useful later. But we're reaching the point where I think the bow hunters are going to be less useful. I hate that they send, they all ship food back to Phoenicia, so... We gotta use some of these points here. Um, I guess we'll put a tooling thing down. Argus. Um. Let's check what people are working. We don't have anyone working bad tiles here. Uh, we could have people work the midden instead of the public quarters in order to get this place growing faster. Um. Growth in five turns. It's five turns no matter what, though. Um. No one's working bad tiles here.
the Swidden Farms. Would it make sense to integrate Constantinople? No, because we are eventually going to be capped on how many things we can integrate, and Constantinople is not going to be very good long term. Let's take the Faith All Regions. We want this tile back, my guys. And now we can town up here. And that'll make a great, uh, town. For wood. <clears throat> Alright, we can convert- well, we can convert the settlers we're making to merchants, I suppose. Not sure how useful that is. But we can do it. Not against the rules. We could pay uh, for a little bit of wealth. That's not a lot of wealth. We could get some gov XP. Not really using too much now. But paying 30 expo XP for a 10% chance plus is like. This feels bad, man. But maybe that's just what we do. Let's bring this guy over. Maybe we have this guy hang out in Constantinople. No, we want him in the Miletus squad, I think. We want him down here. Um, I guess we go... I guess we can build Palisades, because there's, like, not much else to do, and then just come back to this. We need more buildings. I suppose we could just try and produce more paper here. We have one extra log, so we can produce one more paper, but if we made two religious- if we made two paper makers, right, uh, we would be able to make another of religious texts. But then we would have, like, way too many paper makers for when we get the upgraded paper. How do you manage to increase the population of the capital in 19 pops? We're just focusing on gen uh, fulfilling the needs pretty aggressively. Every time I, I reach this stage of the game, pops rebel, despite all my efforts to keep them happy. Do your efforts include having city guards? Those the, the city guards are pretty important. Garrisons generate a lot of uh, unrest reduction. Do we want to start this war with them? I don't really know. We put them down pretty easy. Bull Bay. We definitely want to, don't want to pay engineering XP. We're going to take the risks, because mathematically that one's pretty good. It's probably too good. Um... I think this is where we're gonna put our next town for these guys, and we can probably just link up two towns, even though we're not close on the integration. Really want the minus trade post construction cost here. Actually, let's have a think here. We're we're capped on improvement points, so 
Oh, we can't build outposts there. That's unfortunate. All right, so maybe we swap this to outpost. Yeah, we make this an outpost. And then we're gonna make a trade post here, I think. And that's gonna give luxury, so. And then we'll connect this to Olympia, because Olympia was having trouble with the luxuries and now they're not. Um, and we were wanting to save up till, you know, we could make use of all the things, but, or until we could get the things cheaply, but if we're overflowing this resource anyways, then it doesn't matter. So... Can't make another town there. Um, we'll take a turn off there. See what they do. If they attack us, then we get to heal a little. Ah, I want to be able to spend the expedition XP, dude. Before this happens. So obnoxious that you can't click off to the side. And, like, uh, you can't know what it is that you're getting yourself into. And then, whatever. Um, hey, 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 can't use immigration there, big nice, we didn't think we were going to get to use that power again, thought we were going to get these guys to 10 faster, um, you built your library, Well, let's get some Arts XP, and then you're close to needing an Aqueduct. Let's maybe do that. No, 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 let's not do that. I think we want the stuff that gives us knowledge. And stores, maybe. Not the guards, but the army in the city, yes. Although I'm often attacked by neighbors, so you have to move RBI out of the cities. Wow. Uh, then it's uh, a separate issue, huh? Let's come back here and heal up here. It seems like we got a lot of guys on the frontier. We'll just fortify these guys. Oh, but we can turn them into merchants and then boost the prosperity here. I mean... God, are we actually going to turn a settler into a merchant? I suppose it makes sense. So let's turn one into a merchant. Oh, we have to pay Diplo XP? I don't know if I want to pay Diplo XP to do that. If it was free, it'd be for me, but... Paying money? No, thank you. Um, we already did Mount Fiji, Sahara, those that cluster of three. We could just chill in Constantinople, shore up the defense a little bit. It's probably not good in the long term, but all the buildings and they don't have a gym. Terrible. Game could take a millennia to learn. Yeah, pretty much, Colin. Doing probability math on event options is almost as dirty as spreadsheets. 
City Guards double the unrest suppression as other units. Yeah, they have a lot of un unrest suppression. Uh, I think we're just gonna build another spice thing. Oh, I forgot we could build these. That's gonna increase our Diplo uh, acquisition. And it is in the desert. Man, this place is so valuable to us. They're attacking us, so let's just keep healing up. Alright, so... A nice little force there. Gonna put these guys in the town. Don't want the town to get sacked. You know what, I think we're gonna use our cooldown on Integrate Vassal on these guys. Oh, we could use it multiple times? Hmm. So in three turns, maybe we use it again? Considering we're just buying this spice stuff anyways, or these, uh, these upgrades or whatever. That'll give us a bit more spice in Olympia. I hope we get ship spice to here. The real problem here is starting to become Okay, we can make another trash heap to keep the growth up. Maybe this is what we're supposed to do. I mean, the trash heap is passive. We have a lot of tiles, man. Okay, I convinced myself. Let's do it. Let's make a midden. The spice must flow, indeed. Hey Kevin, how's it going? Just double check that we're alive on Twitch too. Yeah, I don't think anyone from Twitch has chatted yet. Oh, did they kill our guy? Did they kill our boy? Oh, they made him retreat. I think he can just take this guy out though, no? Maybe we retreated accidentally? Let's just take this guy out. Gov XP is pretty close, but I'm not sure. We're just gonna take the extra XP here on both these. I forget if there's something in the next stage that'll help us out. Um, let's get rid of this barb camp. Oh wow, there's still an undiscovered thing. That's wild. Look at that. Alright, we finished a treasury in Olympia. Let's go for a watch. We also have a decent chunk of saved up gold, but not a whole lot to use on it. Or use it on. Looks like that's helping our sanitation a bit. I don't think we have a granary thing. I don't think we're grinding anything to flowers, so let's get a flower grinder here. Not that we need the food, but I think uh, we might in here when we integrate that. And that'll give us a, a sync for our gov XP. Ooh, looks like we're at war with... I know we have an alliance with them. If they're fighting them, then yeah. Twitch isn't showing YouTube chat. No, that's... I don't have it set up to... I need to unify the chats. Hey, Karsak, how's it going? Hi there, I've been, too, uh, been here for a while. Too busy to write, I think. Makes sense. More of a background thing, right? The first artist unit created with age provides a culture bonus. That seems good. Social fabric system is unlocked. Every nation can, receives a social wild card. Scouts now upgrade to explorers. New governments are unlocked. 
Alright, so the new Gov's getting unlocked is going to give us a nice sink for our Gov XP for a while. So, next turn we'll be able to Peaceful Rev out, and then... One more turn, we can integrate them as well. I think we just... Ooh, what can we upgrade here? Uh, upgrade to Explorer, sure. Um... I think we just take out the camp here, to be honest. Well, improvement points are pretty worthless to us at this point. Let's at least make some progress forward, yeah? And try and take out that camp. Um, is there anything we could use exploration? Ooh, we could use it on insights now. And we want to use, we want to do insights before we actually, oh shoot, we shouldn't have upgraded that explorer, that wasn't good. We want to do insights before, um, yeah, it's unfortunate. We want to do it before we upgrade the gov, because the gov's going to increase the, the, our cap to 1k, and the insight cost is always the cap. And we even have an extra explorer here. Dora, the explorer. Now, are we at war with these guys? Because I think we had an alliance with these guys, No. Let's open an embassy, I guess. Oh, we've already established one. Could demand religious conversion. Oh, definitely want a knowledge treaty. That'd be sweet. The amount of dopamine you get for capturing your first enemy city. Oh! Are army leaders usable? Yeah, they're real good. We're not using them right now because they slowly go obsolete, whereas units you can upgrade. Alright, so we have two social fabric points, right? Now we have to think. Well, our impression was that tolerance was crazy. No, wait, tolerance was super bad. Community was crazy. The unrest uh, reduction seems really good. Improvement cost seems kind of meh. So why don't we do this and then expansion cost down. And then we peacefully rev next turn. Let's go back and see if there's anything we want. Luxury from plantation goods would help us grow. And I think Market Manager would be a fine addition. Kitchen would be nice for the luxury. Would be really nice. And it's a lot faster than those other texts. Man, I'm so tired from yesterday. Holy shit. So let's do this. And then we'll peacefully rev and then integrate that next turn. So, let's, first things first, because we don't want to forget. Gonna integrate Vassal here. And then we're going to integrate, integrate you. And then we're going to stop shipping stuff to Argos. And instead ship it there. And then Argos can foreign import this. Gonna give us some more culture. Is that a settler? Pioneer. Bro. You really just making outposts everywhere, huh? Uh, but we could rush. We could peaceful rev here. Uh, I think we thought, well, okay, what's Empire? Conquering a capital, vassal integration costs, not that great, Galleon. 
this one was good. But from having regions, we've we've done a different approach where it's, we don't have that many regions. Upkeep per region. Yeah, so I don't think we're doing that. Feudal monarchy. This is vassal oriented. We don't have a lot of vassals. So I guess we go Republic, huh? Alox Palsaro. Which this will be fine. Domestic exports. Actually pretty useful. Palsaro gives five food, five housing, five sanitation. Is this a improvement? No, it's a building. It's super nice. Okay, so I think we go Republic here. Tired from yesterday, what happened? Uh, I started going back to the gym again. Currently, uh, I have to walk to the gym. It takes me about an hour to walk to the gym and an hour to walk back. Uh... And the walking's harder than the workout at this point, because the workout, we're going to ramp up the intensity, because progressive overload. Still, yeah. Still, I feel beat up a little bit. So, let's get this. And then... You can make an extra domestic export slot. Uh, I think we want to have the Palzars give sanitation, though. Maybe we just want to unlock another building here. Or maybe we could just do both. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then we don't need to build levy workers anymore because we got some buildings to build. got a lot of buildings to build actually so this is going to be good for us as well um let's split off we already have a decent chunk of innovation but 25 knowledge is not what it used to be it's only one turn off we're gonna take the you know innovation And then, we'll have this guy guard, and this guy maybe come back here. We're actually having sanitation problems with these, so maybe we upgrade to Palzaro first. Because that's going to give sanitation for us. We have the luxury here. Let's upgrade to Palzaro first. Do we have... No, we can't immigrate. We're not even close to being able to immigrate here, but... I suppose we're almost certainly going to want to cash crop plantation. Diplo XP is nice as well. And let's double check if we're generating I think we shouldn't be generating unrest anywhere because we did get the social fabric. But like, once you have a couple of, in community, that also makes it so you don't have any unrest. How much opinion should I get to have an embassy? I have no idea. Just go to the supermarket, one kilometer away and still a gym. We'll still have enough exercise. You must live in Europe. I actually do not have a supermarket one uh, kilometer of walking distance. Although I don't want to say how close it is. Hey Jordan Bland, how's life? Life is good. How's life with you? An hour each way is wild, well, especially on leg day. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be, uh. Not it. <laughs> We're gonna do this. I think we're pretty happy with our setup, to be honest.
really kind of keen on uh, integrating this once we get our next slot. You got a kilometer a hundred meters away, that's so nice. You can just like, go on down. Hey Pond, how's it going? At least you don't have to play in cardio at the gym? Yeah, that's something. That's uh, that's something, but we're definitely doing like way more cardio than we'd want to be doing. Okay, so I think down here to the right, we want to make a city. So let's actually, let's group these guys up. And then we'll send them over to the right here. And you can come over as well to heal. And then you will just do standard explora stuff. Which I guess is actually coming over here, huh? Let's just knock out a guy on our way to that barb camp to clear it. Inquisition, I don't think we're gonna do that. I think this... Palzaro now increases region level, it's gonna be nice. Woo! We're expanding, boys. You yearn for the mines. They call you. It's gonna be a good freaking workout. Dating video may have been an April Fool's joke. The April Fool's joke was that we took something that was obviously an April Fool's joke seriously. It was a meta April Fool's joke. But I had some deep feels in it. Big nice. Especially the after the Moneyball scene. Trying to actually teach people about smart goals is no mean feat. Yeah, the Moneyball, I didn't like... I, I probably could have done a better job tying in why I selected the money ball scene, but like, for the money ball scene, the only thing that matters is getting on base in the actual money ball thing. Uh, and so, here, we forgot to take our supplement in the morning. And so like, this is the only thing you care about. Does it get on base? Does it get on base? Does it construct? And so, like, uh, figuring out what it is that's important and then like, moving in that. In that direction really is the task. Looks like we got a baboop. We do love the baboops. Thank you for the follow, Lester. Big nice. Just run faster, bro. It's like something... It's like... A little bit hard to describe to like... How should I put this? I weigh like over 300 pounds. <laughs> Walking is like way more fatiguing. <laughs> The heavier you get, it gets harder. <laughs> it's real hard for me. I think we take the Diplo XP, like, slam dunk, big nice. Although I won't weigh over 300 pounds, like, walking, like, 10 hours a week for very long. Alright, we're gonna need the aqueduct probably in a second, but this is actually- no, no, wait. Yeah, let's just go this. This is more straightforward. We have a lot of... So, we're not- we don't have an impending... This is not super impending. Although we maybe do want to save like 600-ish- well, it's unlikely this happens in the next six-ish turns, so I'm really tempted to rush this. That's gonna give us a lot more construction here, where we, like, need it. Um, and then let's go Civic Monument next. So that we can expand out from here. Uh, and then... Let's expand this town and make this a logging camp. I think I like that, because we're, we're getting food shipped to us, so we actually don't need the food. And the logging camp will help us to build a bit faster. I 
Oh, we forgot to set it to logging focus on the town. Lumber. This one should be mining. Extra wealth, buddy. Min max money ball. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, sexy brownie, how's it going? What supplements are you taking if you don't mind you sharing? Um, sure. Uh, currently, and we have to reevaluate this. Uh, currently, we're taking like one like green tea supplement, but we're taking like half the or like a quarter of the daily dose but that's like uh thermogenic slash caffeine slash some like weight loss stuff but we're taking a very uh, the the go the dose that they recommend is like two pills twice a day and we're just taking one in the morning and then we're taking d3 um we need to pick up a fish oil i gotta do research on brand uh then we're taking uh multivitamin i think this is calmag zinc uh, and then this is chromium coli whatever, which helps with, uh, um, uh, helps with energy metabolism, because we are cutting, and so when you're also eating less calories, it's like, uh, it can be a little bit rough. I guess we'll show, show pills. Shout out to Loud Car, Big Nice. How to reduce chaos when being broke? Uh, you cry, I don't know, so... There, those are the supplements. I don't know if we can, we can see them there, but I was discussing my leg day definition the other day. I'm like, yeah, uh, doing weightlifting every single day. You're doing weightlifting every single day. Oh, because you're heavy. Well, I think we could go through this guy, but I think we don't want to eat the offensive uh, penalty. The city down here makes a lot of sense. Maybe right here even makes a lot of sense. But I think here might make a ton of sense, because we can make it, eventually make a like fishing village over here. I don't think it steps on the other place's toes too much. The problem is when other people start to settle a whole bunch, it's going to get really obnoxious. I think we'll just fortify up here and let them attack us. I think we're not going to be clicking those buttons anytime soon. What do we get from uh, Exploration Social Fabric? I forget. Mice research cost, that's pretty good. Um, you declare hostilities here. I think, uh, it, since we did that, we'll probably need to go next turn, uh, or next time we get a chance. We'll probably have to go for, um, what's it called, uh, some, some more military tech. Alright, nice. So what is this gonna give us? Plus one production from luxury goods. That is super nice, let's take that. Um, and, okay, we can rush, uh, and go Eureka. Uh, well, we already basically have the tech. I don't know if the tech progress overflows either this game so we can rush um we just hit uh one of those so let's rush and actually cutting edge i think i like that a lot and then this guy well, we'll have him continue healing up we are saving up for Trade Network. I suppose we actually want to use Engineering to make outposts. And we can ship stuff back. So you don't have enough sanitation. You can just ship stuff back to maintain max growth on the cities. 
which to be fair, I think we have pretty good growth. And the fact that it's just like, as soon as we get the next level, next step we go for it, we'll see if we can get the next level of um, improvement for sanitation. You up to th you're up to 310, not happy with it? Yeah, that is a vibe. Have you considered not getting tired when going to the gym? When walking to the gym? That'd be a neat trick. I had not considered it though. Speaking as a biochemist, most workout supplements are placebos at best. Yeah, but, but creatine is everything. Yeah, I also take creatine, but that's not one of my pills. But um, the bro hypothesis is kind of like this, which is that, um, first of all, uh, if something is a placebo and it works, it still works. Uh, and then second of all, if something's not going to hurt you and it's only going to possibly help you, then that's like kind of positive EV, even if you know it's like sometimes it doesn't help you. But also I think... So I think caffeine is definitely effective. Caffeine definitely does what it, it says it does, right? And one of the things I have is caffeine and thermogenic. And the other is D3. If you are vitamin D3 deficient, that's pretty bad. The chromium is like maybe not that big a deal, but chromium is also dirt cheap. But like if you're deficient in anything, like nutrition wise, that you take you don't take the multivitamin because it's gonna do something. You take the multivitamin because if you are deficient in something, then it is absolutely just complete bangerville uh, to take a multi and avoid a deficiency. So it's not that you like think you're deficient, it's that if you happen to be deficient, like it's an uh, absolutely huge, 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 huge deal to like go from being m deficient in a vitamin or mineral and to not deficient. Like deficiencies cause so much problems, so. Us getting foreknowledge from this just one city-state as an ally is so nice. Alright, so that's gonna be cool as well. Uh, also, any place that needs luxury, we're gonna be able to do stuff. I think Public Works is probably gonna have... We really need the trash heap. Yeah, there's, that's what we wanted. Let's also look to the future. So, Age of Heresy... Someone said heresy, you go heresy to get the tentacle ending. Maybe we want the tentacle ending. <sighs> Crisis charges. I don't know what charges the age of heresy though. Alright, so we're gonna need to scout out this spot here. But then we are going to think where we want to place our city. I'm thinking right here. Looks really good. Get some expansion going from there. I think we have to take out the barb camp first, if I recall correctly. Um, so, why don't we actually have this guy link up? Civic Monument, nice. Well, this is in the new place. I think we don't mind getting knowledge and culture, certainly. Sweetly. Uh, the Civic Monument's gonna help the borders expand a lot faster. Um, I don't think we're placing extra farms or plantations than just gathering the resources available. Kind of want to make a sawmill. I guess the sawmill doesn't matter yet. So we're, ooh, we're not at max food production. That's probably not ideal. I think we do get a little bit extra from the hunting stuff than we otherwise would, so let's do that and get us up to max. Uh, let's do these. 
public. Domestic export slots. I think we want to save for the luxuries from plantation goods. How do I play thing? Big, uh, big sad. You just like click the buttons where it like you gets rid of the plague. Would I say that this game is better than Civ 6? No. I'd say it's more interesting right now because we've played a lot of Civ 6. <laughs> Slow down our culture. No. Renaissance is a bit early, no? A little bit. What year is it? 1380. It's not too early. In the grand scheme of things, it's not too big a deviation from his story. I think we're just gonna fortify here and just let him attack us a whole bunch and slowly get rid of those. Um, actually, why don't we just go to where we want to put the city and just put the city there? I think I like this. We're not gonna bother, bother with this just yet until we get this guy. And he's just gonna come over here. And that guy's going to be able to crush a whole bunch of, uh, things. Alright, we could rush for 500. That's an expensive rush. Alright, what do we want if we do rush? I think we Eureka up. I think that's good. Yeah, this is our first Eureka of the Age, so it's a ton of knowledge. Look at this, it's like six turns worth of research, so... That's going to help us out a lot. Lazo. And then we still have our malice there. Don't we finish the market thing? Wasn't this supposed to give us another slot for something? Oh well. Okay, so we, in this place we do need some degree of religion. So let's put that next. We could export them religious texts instead. We don't even have max religion anymore anyway here either. Hmm. Oh, I wish we had more paper. But we're also not hitting max on that, and I think we do want a trash heap for these guys. So let's put down a midden. And then we don't want to overflow on this, so... We're not going to be using that yet, but I just want to put that in because we're running up that number. You love tentacles, big nice. I absolutely agree with everything you said. Worst case, you're making your your inexpensive, but not that expensive. Yeah, we're also not taking any the supplements we're taking that we don't think they're that expensive. But I I mean I agree with you. I do think so. I think Calmag Zinc uh, D three. Uh, a multivitamin with the idea that you're just avoiding uh, being nutri nutrient deficient. And fish oil, those are like my four supplements that I think are like almost certainly worth taking. With a big part of that almost certainly coming from the fact that uh, here, we can reroute this guy somewhere else now. Right? Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Something about supplements. We need to make paper. 
in this city and make religious texts, but we haven't expanded into the wood yet. Big sad. We can just push this, I think. And I think that we maybe have the scout go up here and see what's going on over there. Actually, maybe we try and take the city up here. Don't really have the right squad for it, huh? Me when the game hasn't saved for the last 20 turns, rip. The only supplement I also take whey protein and yeah, whey protein and creatine. Is whey protein? I always bring juice for the sugar boost during the workout, though. Yeah, but uh, sugar's a macronutrient, not a supplement, right? We're not gonna count sugar. All right, now. We can just, these things cost zero, right? Yeah. I suppose we want to try and... Try to think of the best way to ship resources back to the new place. Um... So the problem is you can't expand into tiles while you have an outpost. Um, oh, yeah, obviously we gather here. I think we would want an outpost up here. Any place where we can get three resources off the outpost, but we don't want to put a city there. I guess right here is probably a good place for the outpost, huh? It's next to four things. But, gonna have problems getting there. Um, suppose over here is not terrible. We do want spice, though. If we spawn a pioneer here, we can. scout down that way. Try and see what the spice potential looks like. I think this is all sending over here too. So yeah, super nice for this city. I really like uh, the spice merchant playstyle. I don't know if it's better. You're not tryharding though, regarding supplements. Yeah, you, you, I mean if you're tryharding, like, the supplements aren't really the important thing though. But also, placebo sec effect is super strong. I don't know, people like... People rip on placebos more than they should. Placebos really, really fucking work. And like, just because it's a placebo doesn't mean it's not... Like, the, I think people get the wrong freaking idea about placebos. Like, I was looking into empty capsules. Like, I take empty capsules as a supplement I type of idea. Oh, we're gonna lose that guy. Rip. I think this is where we wanted the cities, so let's just... Post it up. Um, and then look to survive. <clears throat> I think we wanted a, a fishing town here. It's going to involve us buying tiles uh, to get to there. Or integrating an outpost. We could integrate an outpost and just buy one tile. And then we'd have all this. Yep, yep, yep. Could do that. Um, ooh, could we put an outpost here? Is this a... S well, so this is... That would give us fish and the limestone. Wait, do outposts let you build logging camps? 
This is something I need to know. If they let you build logging camps, that'd be super OP. No, logging camps aren't a resource. There's no shot that they let you do that. Alright. Alright, we want to finish out this. We have 8 out of 10, so we need 2 more resources exploited. Try and see what's up. These guys come down. Oh, let's re I think we'd rather work that. No Ramba. Okay, I guess we could go for stores. Gives a little bit of production. And then go for the library. gonna cruise through and make sure we're using all foreign imports and exports and we're not here so Argos we could export to that other place we're super good on the food and I think we're we're semi good on construction or the build stuff so maybe we send tools you pay them to pay them forward to the newer place. The Rambia. Oh, we gotta send this to Narambia. No Bomba. No Bomba. We could rename some, that something a little bit more appropriate. Maybe we rename that Carthage. <sighs> sure. I think we really want to try and get an embassy in someone far away's thing. Oh, looks like they're prepping to fight us actually here as well. Which is fine, because we're pretty well prepped already for that. I don't think we want to deck ourselves. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Delhi, how many days do you got, or how many turns do you got on integration? 15 turns? We'll probably wait five, and then double integrate here. Because the diplomacy social fabric sucks balls. So. And we'll claim territory right here. We're probably going to lose that guy, but hopefully we don't. Let's see what our elf eyes can see. Well, we could just make an outpost like here, caravan this up, hope that oil spawns. Uh, but we would be getting some spices. Spicy. I don't think we want to open ourselves to the opportunity of getting surrounded there. I think we just fortify up there until we can clear out the riffraff. Somehow we survive. Okay, you know what? We could actually keep this guy alive, maybe. Oh, we don't have the XP for that. We're gonna try and get him over to Delhi, but I think that's probably a lost cause. We can spawn a settler. We already have a settler that's sitting doing nothing. I think we go for this, the luxury on plantations. And now we're really uh, not needing any luxury goods. To be fair, we're like super overkill on the luxuries. Anyways, but... Physician's Guild. I wish this gave more... 
yeah, we really need to... I mean, I guess we could buy some of these tiles and start working on the wood stuff, but we really just need to get the wood stuff going. Guard reserves, upgrade. Phoenicia can build. Oh, I think I like building dragoons now. And now we can upgrade all these things. So nice. That's unfortunate. So, we can make sure we get three desert tiles to maximize our Diplo income, but we don't really need the Diplo income that bad, to be honest. Is Spice even super, super worth? That's actually pretty good. Um, this one's just super crazy good. Let's double check what we get. Lifting tower, improvement points. Don't really need those right now. Sanitation level, big nice. Uh, unrest and housing. The poor house and uh, most importantly, trash heap. Waterworks also nice though. Printing press, does this give more papel? I think we, we like the more pap moss papel. Given the state of kind of things we're thinking about, it seems underwhelming. Is this a better levy workers? That's uh, unnecessary. Could go for gunpowder though. With the idea that I think we want to fight these guys sometime soonish. Public quarters. Now you just need more sanitation. So we can upgrade to this and here. Same thing here. You need religion. Uh, you don't need much. You need to get integrated. Somehow this guy survived. I don't know if he survives here, but... Well, actually, we could send... We could send the archer out to maybe keep him company. Or actually, we probably send the spear out to help him out. And then we actually use these guys to clear the barb camp. I'm gonna get a culture power next turn. So we probably buy this tile and make a town here. With the idea it's gonna be a fishing town. Ugh. Seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. Check how many people are watching. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Kurt. The Colossus. One of these buildings, only we can only build one. 10 production. Is that worth 750? Probably. There's, there's gonna come a time where we're just idling buildings and it's gonna like seem super, super good. Alright, we're growing super slow on the religion front here. This kind of feels bad. And we would 
hate for our time to get sacked, which leaves us in an awkward spot here. Very awkward spot to be in. We poke our head out here. So we need to, we want to clear out down there. So, oh, you know what? We we hit an innovation, so we could just rush and uh, cutting edge here. And that'll be pretty good. And then we already in Phoenicia like could use more jobs, or we have more stuff to build, so. Let's just build a Colossus here. Or do we want the Colossus in some place where we are a little further behind? We just build it in the capital. Franca. This would be a fine place to just have as a vassal. Not really gonna get in the way too much. Go, I guess, encampment into lifting tower. We get called to arms. We're gonna like wait for them to come out. Um. Ottoman, our merchant gets killed by the Ottomans. Tragic. These guys can take that out, right? Oh, mistakes were made. Maybe. We're just gonna stay hold up in here for a bit. Or actually, nah, here, let's do this. And then have this guy kind of escort him in. Now let's take a look here. How many turns? So next turn, I think we pay the spice price. Spice is nice, we pay the price. Uh, And bring this in to the fold. Oop, do have to keep an uh, eye on this. So let's build a watch next. Kill the scout. Yep, we do. I think we're just gonna stay in our, our things, our hidey holes. I'm gonna fortify this guy here. I wanna be able to fall back to this spot if he gets too injured. Uh, but eventually, we wanna kind of take a track down here. And uh, gunpowder is gonna be really nice. We don't even have pro army. 
though. Would be nice to have the pikes and such, I guess. Or also the extra slot in army size. Um, could we not embark? We do want to be able to embark units. So let's get shipbuilding here. Production on Olympia, spawn a grenadier. Olympia really doesn't need the production. I think we're okay not driving one of those events up though. Like, I don't think we need a Grenadier, so we'll just choose that option. And then I think we might even just move this army up here where we're planning on putting the town. I think it's next turn where we are gonna integrate Delhi, yeah. And this watch is not going to be enough. So why don't we rush this, and we don't want to forget that we want to make a guard reserve. Make the guard reserves. Ah, let's take a look at Phoenicia. Phoenicia's generating some of this uh, unrest. Plus one a turn. So, if we upgrade one of our guard, what of this guy? Does that do anything for us? Warfare XP. We don't have enough. Hmm. Uh, let's move the Prospector over here, I guess. And then let's just nip this in the bud and build a Guard Reserve guy after this. We're not generating any in Olympia. Although, with enemy, with foreign troops in our Oh, we have two city guardsmen. That's probably fine. I think, or three. Yeah, we're probably going to be okay. Alright. We are sieged, technically. Alright, so these guys... I think the scout, scout, and... Something else. Let's move this guy here. Looks like they left the city undefended. I'm not sure how much progress we're going to make with that forest. This is the real mean forest. And so maybe we want them to kind of swap spots. So let's do this. And I guess we wait a turn. I want some more warfare XP. We don't actually have a lot of it. And I think we make a outpost here. Uh, what have we done? And Gather, trade post. Let's do some of that, because we're generating a ton of those points anyways a turn. Let's come back in and... Now that we can embark the unit. Go to do gunpowder. Fortify this guy up. It's maybe not gonna be enough. Let's bring him here. One archer. We'll move the archer over here. I'm gonna move this up here. And then let's integrate. Integrate. Uh, claim a territory. 
Which one are we supposed to claim? Probably this one. Oh, we're stupid. Shit, I hate it when that happens. We didn't have enough gov XP. But now, we can load the transport. We can bring these guys back. Bring the boys home. Modify social fabric. But we just have a free one. So we could go community. Um, yeah, let's go community. It's gonna make having extra things easier. I mean, if they're gonna send a bunch of guys there, we might have to send some reinforcements this way. not exactly what we wanted. Let's just slow back. I think we do this fine. We don't want to upgrade the housing until we need it. Because it just generates more unrest. What army template do you like using most? I like two spears, one cav, one archer, but I'm not sure it's good. I kind of like two spears, two archers, but I, re I really don't think I'm necessarily, like, knowing what I'm doing here. Did we not? Okay, yeah, we made the trade post there. And I think we can resist both sides here. Because we do have the caravan, caravan guards, so I think we can resist that 125 stack with the help of the caravan guard. Maybe we're supposed to make this a castle, though. We have points. Improvement points. I think we- oh, we don't lose this trade post after we make it a castle? Bro. Also, where's this link to? Capital attack, baby. Uh... Actually, let's link it to Argos. So let's just come in here and change this up to castle. <gasps> oh, it takes a ton of engineering XP, rip. I not realize, my bad. Sorry chat. I failed you. I think we'll move it in here. Move this guy here. We'd love to have an extra slot. Which we're not gonna get with gunpowder. We really don't want them to sack this. So let's just take a peek what's going on. I think they can defend that. Next turn we're gonna be putting a town up there. Would've been also an absolutely stellar place for an outpost, but... We're not going that route. Yeah.
Let's see. I, I want to see how we're faring here. Oh yeah, we get two free guards. I think one from it being a castle and one from it being us having the bonus. Oh yeah, we're chilling. Kind of. Siege weapon is scary as hell. Um. It's gonna be six turns till we get what we want. Let's just see if we can take a crack at this wall. Because we have a high tier. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dear Barbara. Let's reinforce that, though. I mean, we cracked the wall. Um, just have a lot of improvement points, but I think we're integrating this this turn, because we can, now. And so let's send this to Delhi instead. Noomba's fine. Culture. Let's make a town. That is a wild ass road, but I guess it's trying. It's auto. It's trying not to go through the uh, the hills. We're gonna go down for down to down to low to clear that out. Um, I don't- I think we- let's work our way back here. Let's bring this cab over here. I think that'll be fine. Maybe we even want to work some of these guys back. I think we're kind of in okay shape to the left there. Guard reserves in Phoenicia. I think we maybe want another Dragoon. The waterworks are unnecessary at this point. So let's go Dragoon first. And then we can link him up somewhere. Well, maybe we don't even want a Dragoon. We need more Warfare experience. We're going to have to upgrade a lot of guys. Argus really needs the religion. We should have been more proactive about scouting, finding other people, and trading with them so we could import stuff. Delhi, I think we... I mean, Lookout doesn't sound terrible, to be honest. That way we can bombard. But then I think we want uh workshop. But now I think from Argos, I think we send this to Delhi so they can build a little. A little bit faster. But the lookout, I think, lets us fire now. It does. And then we have a ton of improvement points. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. What are we supposed to use it on? Well, I think we built the mine. The mines here. Uh, I guess we could make a furnace. So we could go the direction of a jeweler. 
Because we have these prospectors, too. Let's go furnace for now. And let's... Also put that in. Oop, I guess we have a, a woodland here. Start the logging, begin the logging. Can't afford to import anything from this guy because they're not producing shit. Um, I guess we're gonna want, you know, logging here as well. To be fair, we could maybe make religious texts here and then export them. We don't have a lot of... Hmm. Yeah, okay. So now we're making one paper there. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hopefully they did a lot of damage there, but that kind of hurts. Boop boop. Thank you for the follow, Lord Camp. Big nice. Alright, so... Mm. I really wish this war happened five turns later. Would've been suit a lot better. Actually, let's take this guy out. Because we can always come back to the town if they start threatening him. Um, We can take this out, we'll also build, no, uh, we can't, um, well, maybe we can do something like this. And hopefully we don't get overwhelmed here, but I do want to be able to start gathering stuff. We're sending these guys to work. Just checking, looking at this to make sure unrest is not developing anywhere, it's not. Um... We have a decent sized army. They're, I mean, their walls are cracked there. Bro, do we just like send the army? Probably not. Also, these guys are starting to become really obsolete. Um, what's that about? All right, well, if you think that you can just cruise around and maybe make an outpost, you're mistaken. You cabbage. Just checking, do you know uh, attacking without advancing? I did not realize you could attack without advancing. How do you do that? That's news to me, I did not know it. Control click. Thank you. Spice merchants. Special gift action with high wealth cost to large increase depot relations. I don't know if we're going to do that. But we do want to get their bonus for some extra gold. Just trying to figure out where we should put an outpost. I guess here would be actually kind of nice. 
The thing is, Siren's gonna expand there. So maybe it's not so nice. Where to put the outposts? There's just really not a spot that we really like a lot. I mean, here would be great. <laughs> here would be okay-ish. Olympia's expanding into this eventually, though. Or here would be decent, but Olympia's expanding into it. Maybe we don't even want Olympia to expand into it, though. We hadn't considered that. Maybe it's better, because you could get the outpost goods for free, not needing to use the population, and you do need to use the population otherwise. Um, what is this? What do you think you're doing here? Mr. Scout. Mr. Dora the Explorer. Alright. Oh wait, this guy's, yeah, harvesting, this guy's chilling or whatever. What's this? Does that say Settler? Spear. Spearman's a little, a little bit rough. Let's put the Prospector in the city here. That is pretty annoying though. I guess we'll send some of our cav back to deal with that. Although they get a bonus against cav, huh, don't they? So you said we can control click? Control right click, I mean? Will not advance on victory. Okay. We just do damage, but we get wrecked. We should have capital attacked first. Rip the dream. Okay, the scouts are actually decently fast, and I think two scouts can take out one spear. Or two explorers. So we'll send these guys back. Um... We'll send these guys up here. Just defend. We'll use that no advance trick. Because we don't want to. We'll continue clearing out the riffraff. Thank you so much for that tip. I was not aware of that. That helps out a lot. Noomba needs to make stuff. We kind of do that. Do we just make another dragon? Probably not. We probably need to rebuild an actual army. God, the rush is so cheap on these, huh? What are we exactly getting from gunpowder? I suppose is the question. What is this? Arbiquis? Uh... So that's a cav, uh, okay, so we're, we, we're not gonna have a better melee. In fact, we're not, we don't even have pike, this is a problem. We probably have to gonna go back and get pikes. Okay, so then what should we build out of Phoenicia? Right now, I guess the dragoon, again. Eventually we're gonna want the waterworks though. Just don't need it right now. Okay, you know what we could do here? Is we could do religious scribe here. And then from here, send the paper to Argus. So Argus can. I mean, they're gonna be short one paper, but Argus can make a paper works then. Right, and then not be short the paper. Brilliant. Uh, we'll wait until this guy gets cleared out, I suppose. Or let's just make the paper worker. Uh, and so now Argus can grow fast again. Big nice. That super works for us.
maybe there's a place where we can put a pioneer to make it so that there's a road, but doesn't interfere with our auto expansion. It also gives a resource. I was thinking it's kind of rough getting troops from left to right here. In Big 3, do you know why I can't station armies in South Africa? No, I do not. Uh, unless they don't have access because they're going through Lorenzo Marks uh, because of the Shadow Realm bug because Portugal has the port. That's a common thing. Yikes. They're making progress, unfortunately. They are unfortunately making progress. We get rid of the army. Restore the furnace. Now we need religion here. Son of a bitch. Is there not a religious building we can build? What? Could have sworn there was. Uh, yikes. I guess not anymore. I guess we're in the wrong age. But housing we can deal with. Yeah. We'll build the poor house. Salt. Right, we'll just come down. Maybe we link those guys up now. It's not looking good, guys. It's looking like we might lose these castles. I guess we can control attack from here and maybe take out this 95. That seems fine, maybe. We kind of would like some pikemen, but... Let's do this. Idea being, once we finish gunpowder, we'll build some cannons or something out of there. But yeah, I don't think we need cannons. But let's kind of do the same logic here. In fact, we actually could make use of the, the additional sanitation. I'm one of the lame... Graphics don't matter kind of people are refreshing about this UI it reminds me of mobile games Something about the UI reminds me of mobile games I yeah It's like we yeah, the the UI is not the selling point here.
don't hate trying to just clear out some XP here. Oh my god. I hate that you can't Q too many things, though. Let's do this. Okay, uh, we have a decent chunk of gold. Can we buy something in Delphi? No, we can't buy the, the thing yet. Capital attack here. Well, they broke our defenses here. Well, I guess... We might have the Dragoons come back to Constantinople. Just head back that way. Yikes. I was hoping we could have the Dragoons relieve a little bit of the pressure on the castles. It's good that they're attacking us, uh, and not, uh... Hmm. Do we go for this? I think maybe we heal up. Well, we could rush our culture power and spawn an army. I think I actually like rushing and spawning. That's not what we wanted. We wanted this. And then... Now we control right click here. Slay that guy. Zero improvement points to repair. Nice. I think we... Move the explorers this way. They could deal with the riffraff that comes off to the right. Uh, let's control attack here. Let's attack attack here. Oh, he's got a second level, so I think we're gonna come in here and put down a mine. Ooh, uh, we could use a little bit more food here. Hmm. Also not maxed out on food here anymore. Let's see what we're doing. So, we could start doing the baking stuff. Or, 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 we could do a kitchen, because we have a ton of meat. And this makes production. Whereas this is a two-step process, so let's actually maybe do this. Need more housing here, so we'll upgrade one of these poor houses to poor houses. Just kind of cruising through. Keeping an eye on this. Uh, we'll soon get an expansion to here and we can work that tile, so. Hmm. Wow, they really expanded wide. We're gonna get a lot of vassal cities here. Even with the new army, it's looking kind of rough. I think we... Is the wall busted? Let's 
Let's go after the siege weapon army. I just don't know if we win this. Also, we could use a heal up. Let's just heal up. I don't know. That might be it for us. One turn shy of, like, actually being able to upgrade these guys is so rough. Sag. Uh, extra domestic export slot is nice, though. Because we're sending... Wait, what? Ah, the relief force. I forgot. Oh, these guys. This is an unalive side mission here, isn't it? Um. Well, I think we go for this squad, maybe, so that they can't shoot us. Because I think they could shoot us, or we just go for the siege weapon. I think the cab gets to attack the, the weakest unit. The siege weapon is the weakest, so let's just try and do this. I think that these cavalry all die, but I think we get to maintain our thing. Oh, I thought oh, they have to go for the front line? Rip. And then now we can do this. <gasps> I control clicked! No! No! My control right clicked. Oh, this is so fucked. Use the treaty power. The treaty power. I don't want to peace treaty. I want to wreck these guys. I just don't want to lose this, but. Maybe they can't even take it. I'm not sure, that's really not what I wanted to do. Actually, could I undo? I guess not. We might load. <laughs> it's just like 20 turns back. I don't know. I guess we can't reload. It's too far back. It's Jover, boys. Run is scuffed. Nothing to be done. Let's see if we can get a little embark going and explore some on the out there all right Argos do we have a trash heap for Argos I don't think we do so yeah maybe let's not build this let's instead just make them a trash heap and we can go after stuff like this instead Oh, that'd be really nice if they didn't attack the thing. They didn't, it looks like. Super. It's not Jover, boys. So you're saying there's a chance. Alright, so if we're holding control... Okay, then we want to... What the fuck, dude? We were holding control. What the hell? 
Alright, well. These guys are going to be the most critical to upgrade. And these guys. I think we'll come up over here. And then here, let's use Tolerance, which is going to generate us a little more gold to turn. Easily the weakest of those bonuses, but whatever. I'm going to try and stay close-ish to the coast. We're just going to look for just a little bit of scouting. Uh, yeah. We want that outpost spot real bad. That's a nice outpost. Uh, so, we'll actually spawn a pioneer over here. To build an outpost there. I guess we'll go after these guys. And the scout who's been idling for forever. I think we can start working into some of these guys. Choose technology. Okay, so... I don't think we're gonna get Age of Heresy. I don't even know what triggers the thing. And I kinda think we wanna come back, actually, for some older techs. Not catapults, I think we don't need that. Let's do that into probably professional army. Now this is Phoenicia, and we want to build. Why can't we build this? It requires barracks. What? Okay, cannons then. Control attack thing is not seeming to be working right now, so. Arts, what are we doing? Should be getting immigration to uh, Delhi. Well, actually, maybe not. You know what we need here? Let's rush this and go for a civic monument. What did the control click do? It's supposed to... It's supposed to allow you to attack without moving your troops, but it, it did the whole thing. You, bro, you took a whole shower and you're still on the same tech? Well, you know... It was a long tech, okay? <laughs> it was a long tech. <laughs> Believe me, we felt it too. We felt it too. Hopefully we don't lose too much cav there. But... We were kind of expecting to lose a lot of cab just to save the things. Alright. Sistine Chapel. Oh, hell yeah, brother. We are having definite problems getting religion locked in, so this sounds really appealing. Yeah. Let's build the Sistine Chapel here. Alright, we get attacked. We get attacked. Let's come back to Miletus. Let's pop this guy out. Let's heal these guys up. And let's move the cannon down and into here. As well. Because the cannon is going to do the boom boom things. Let's do the insight here. Control clicks not working the way we want it to. I think we do this. We move one guy into here. We move these two guys over here. And we're starting to claw our way out here. I think we research the barracks stuff. Or pro army. Increased size is going to be really nice. Um, that's what she said. And I think that out of Olympia, whatever we're building here... I think we want to build a spear. Oh, 
Although we're gonna need more mill XP. A little rough. It's gonna be a great outpost for us. I'm not sure where we're gonna link it yet, but the extra production and food, probably linking it to Delhi. We're just gonna heal him up. If they want to attack us with the 15 or they can. Good luck, my guys. Ooh, don't like, don't like the looks of uh, them kind of starting to push in there. I suppose we could go and save them instead of pushing Ankara. It sucks because you can't liberate stuff. Does it mean Marco Michelangelo was Carthaginian? Most assuredly, in, in the Treal timeline. It's one of the things that uh, annoyed me quite a lot about, um, you know, the Loki show. Is the, the sacred timeline is the one where Carthage wins, and they never mentioned that. Speaking of text you skipped, I like the uh, arts to pop artist and burn... Uh, burn them for the full culture meter. Oh, interesting. I mean, we could spawn artists. The artists just give luxuries, right? And you can burn them for a culture meter. So we spawn artists, make a culture. Interesting. Alright, let's cruise through. Argos having food problems. Alright. Uh, so let's try and rectify that. I think we don't have the bakery here yet. So let's go cooking and add the oven. That should solve that problem. Here you need faith, but that's a little bit that's a little bit of a task at this point. Um Go here, then could go sawmill. Or saw pit. Uh, we don't have a lot of construction or improvement points anyways now at this point, though. In fact, okay, we do have two mines. Delhi's gonna need some stuff, so... Revolutionary Carthage is dead. Tragic. We don't even have go enough gold to push this. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll just wait a turn. But seems like just a absolutely stunningly good uh, gold sink, generally speaking. Or maybe we leave this guy to hunt. Seems not terrible. Oh, this guy's this guy's dead, isn't he? Actually, operation save the boy. Four turns, and we will have uh, a five stack that I think can go into Coletta. Let's construct the outpost. Let's link it to Delphi. And then let's make all the trade posts, which is going to let us complete spice merchants. Nothing else we can build in these things. Now we know it's not working right, where I guess we just sit tight, because 
It's not working the way we want it to be. We'll just come in here. I think we'll upgrade this guy. Considering there's no troops on the doorstep, we'll just fortify up. We'll just fortify up with these guys. Good luck. Ooh, it looks like we do get a little bit of a fishing spot. First fishing spot we've got. Um, hmm. We don't need food there, though, right now. Delhi's doing work. I think we'll just put in uh, fishing fleets here. Um, so we, there's a lot we can do with these explorers, but I think I like them just hanging out right here for now uh, to help defend. Or actually, we maybe crush this outpost too, huh? Because this would be a nice spot for an outpost right here. We don't have the engineering XP to spawn a pioneer, but we would really like that outpost as well. So maybe we actually leave it for now, though, because they might build or expand or something like this, and they won't if we uh, push that. Um, I think we look to push this guy over to the left. And maybe we do that both these guys to bring them to Constantinople. Uh, maybe we're going to be a little bit slow to getting to Constantinople. We'll see. Then this guy, is, we're going to have the extra room there. Well, that sucks. We also lost, like, the envoy, effectively. Well, the, uh, lifting tower wouldn't hate. Um, Alright, well, Coliseum will be nice. Sag, we couldn't save the revolution. Oh, what the hell? We were not expecting that push in. Didn't mean to click that a little bit. Actually, we... Yeah, there we go. I think we can just have... Oh, we... Well, actually, no, we could select everyone but that guy, which we don't probably don't want to use that guy for this anyways. And come in here. Wow, we took a surprisingly large amount of damage. Well, I guess on our guy who needs to get upgraded. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. get to repair these for free. What do we even want to use the culture power on? Probably getting some of that. I guess we could Eureka here. Uh, Eureka seems actually pretty good right now. Because we'll finish pro army. And... Uh, we can move into some of this stuff. Okay, so administration seems not very good. Warehouses, textile mill. I don't think that that's too much for us. Machinery, deep mine, blast furnace. I think the presence of, uh, yeah, the sawmill, like, really makes us want to go machinery. Right? I mean, printing press also is attractive, to be honest. Maybe we'll do both before aging up. That was painless getting out. Upgrade that guy to a pike. I 
don't know what we're even looking for here. Oh, let's grab the culture. Not a lot, but it is what it is. These guys fortify. These guys fortify until heal. Delhi makes a sip monument. Uh, let's try and get the research speed up a little bit. I mean, we could rush this. I don't hate rushing it. Yeah, let's rush it. And then let's get a granary. No bomba. What happened to our... Oh, this is our Shintoism building? Alright. Don't hate the lifting tower, to be honest. I think we go with this, though. Man, us shipping this stuff back to Delhi is just so nice. Though you just has max food and actually quite a bit of construction speed. Like, considering it's got four pops. We see we need housing in Olympia, so we're gonna upgrade this. I think that's fine. Probably gonna go another half hour, maybe. Not sure yet. All right. So now I feel I feel a little surrounded here, considering all things considered. I feel a little surrounded, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I would not like it in a house. I would not like it with a Laos. I do not like a Sam I am. Um, we could try and work these Hussars back. Mm, what are we building in these cities? Coliseum? Yeah, that's probably a miss. We're probably supposed to go barracks and then actually build troops. That was my bad. For 10 gold, though, we just have to buy the Colosseum here. Actually, we can build pikes now. Let's build a pike out of there. Let's come here. What are we building? Sistine Chapel nonsense. Let's upgrade to barracks and then build cannon. If we could do... Well... We could try and see if the control attack thing is working, because we would want a control attack, but I don't think it is. Holding control, army will not advance on victory, right? Okay. Well, they didn't retreat, so it makes that work. Um, we're just going to defend here. Is there any way we can spawn a unit? I don't think we have a way to spawn a unit. Oh wait, you know what? Uh, let's see if we can spawn artists. And then... You were saying that doing this... Destroy the artist for a ton of culture. We get a culture power. Raise army, right here. Now we should be able to defend this. Super nice, super kawaii. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Alright, let's go take a look. I think we're just gonna try and run past these guys. And if they attack us, they attack us. Or actually, let's try doing that just here.
Yeah, I think we gotta get those guys back in the action somehow. Oh, what's this? Oh, thank god. Our freaking. We have a caravan thing, so our thing is safe, but. Feels bad, man. Alright. This is a castle? Come on, dude. Bro, really? You gonna punk us like that? Stellar place for an outpost. Either one of those. Three fish spots. Well, we don't want them to go and knock down our outpost. That's a really nice outpost. So we're going to try holding control. And see if this works. That did work. We have enough to upgrade both these guys to pikes. So let's kind of bring them on in. I don't think they'll be able to attack us, so this will give us a little bit more flexibility with what we do. And maybe means that we're not expanding into Colada, we're expanding somewhere else. So, can we do the will not advance on victory? I, I think that this is just bugs. Alright, well it worked that time. Fair enough. And then this guy got attacked a few times, so we'll just fortify him up. Take out this 15 thing. And then I have these guys heal. Let's actually come back there to heal. And then these guys can link up. So we could spawn a settler. We also have a settler that we are currently not using that we could use. I mean, we could just settle, like, kind of in the middle of this forest here. That wouldn't. I don't think that'd be terrible. We have. The thing, I don't want to crimp the space here or here on these guys, so maybe we end up settling down here, near the iron. Could settle here and have a nice uh, town, like here, for wood shop, and we'll grow pretty well. Down to the left and the right. I mean, that might be one of the better places for a settlement. Let's pick this guy up. Just like right here. found our mortal enemy room. I think we clap this army here, so we're gonna control click. And it works properly. We lose a pike. That's unfortunate. What we can do is we can come back here with the other guys. And maybe just feed some more guys into here. Rome is everywhere. The truth hurts. There's darkness in our hearts. Rome is everywhere. I think we like this quite a bit. 
Culture and Arts XP on the Pilzaro or whatever is also kind of nice. Not sure where this merchant's going. I guess we should have brought that there. They're not really pushing there, but they could. Control clicking. I don't know why it didn't work before that one time. I think we settle here. I think this is a nice spot. We'll have the the a town that is just a wood choppy town. That'll be pretty solid. Oh, let's definitely go for the library here. I think we like just getting some extra arts XP here. Kind of cheap. On the cheap. Uh, maybe we do that next. More research. Cannon. I think we're going to produce another cannon here. And then go into the Colosseum. That's not a good spot for the cannon. The cannon's a sitting duck. Uh, can we move this guy back? I mean, I think he exercises his zone of control, so this will be preferable. Now, Olympia, I think... Actually, maybe we make an army with two cannons. Or three cannons and two pikes. I think cannons only get a bonus... Oh, well, maybe we bring something back. Um, Argus. So let's see, how much unrest? A ton of negative unrest, so we're super fine there. I think we go for the Arts XP. I'm gonna shoot the Siege weapon. Anything useful we could do. <gasps> Didn't want to do that. So we're thinking that we want to take this out at some point. What is this about? It's a merchant. So let's... See, I, I held control there and I advanced, which I didn't want to do. Uh, but if we can build another... Um, pioneer, I think we would want to build right here another outpost so oh the artist is interfering with us doing immigration i think we kind of like the immigration a lot got wrecked. But that doesn't mean our cannon didn't get wrecked. So I guess that's okay. Ish. This guy here. I don't think they'll have line of sight on this. So hoping that cannon's safe. And maybe these guys come back and form the basis of uh, 
crossbow cannon pike pike or crossbow cannon cannon pike pike and that's the army and we use it to push here I don't think they're pushing into this so So we could destroy that. I think we'll just come back here, fortify up. Don't know the fastest way back here, over to here from these guys, but that's probably what we want to do. I guess this is going to make maybe a road. That'd be super sweet if we got a road to this outpost from settling there. I think we're good to end the turn. Let's just cruise through. We're just looking up at this stuff to see if we can fulfill needs. So we do see this housing need, right? And I think we only have one slum here. Or not even slum, uh, public quarters. So let's upgrade that. And now it's fully fulfilled. Do have f now five things here. Unfortunately, we don't have much flat land. But we could use this flat land here for a furnace. We're working this grassland tile, so we might as well put a feedlock right- Oh, I forget the branches make meat. Yeah, so that'll be good for us. And then we can make a kitchen next turn. Yep, yep, yep. Big nice. It's Rome is not darkness, Rome is hope. Rome is darkness. Pure and simple. A scourge upon the existence of cultured people. Um, I think we'll bring this here, and this here, and the cannon here, and the other cannon also here. And then this guy, these guys can push to Colada. Capital attack these guys. Let's control attack here and hopefully like it doesn't bug out. Okay. <laughs> it bugging out is actually just like catastrophic semi-catastrophic. Here I think it's fine. Now these guys are supposed to attack the lowest health guy, but they have to attack the front line first. Ooh, yikes. Didn't want to actually lose a pike there. Now we actually have no pikes between these two things. So maybe we have to stay in the city a little bit. Maybe we have to stay in the city a little bit. Now, we can rush our culture power and use it for our evil. Um, well, we're not actually getting any innovation. Let's rush and let's cutting edge. We do like the cutting edge. Oh, 
was a long ways, but let's get started. All right, let's use this guy for his purpose. Teleological, big nice. Do we like this spot as a city? We'll just get too cramped. Maybe we don't like it as a city. Ah, oh, jeez. Like, it's gonna be a city, but it's gonna be not as good a city. I think we probably have to... Town in this direction. So if we go town, town, nope, town. And then we get the wood circle. And then we get to expand down here to- oh, yeah, maybe it's okay enough. We are running out of space, considering how spread out we're trying to be. Um, that'll allow us to build a cross for them. Alright, so... Bonus wealth from luxury goods. What even is a luxury good? Um, Palazzo gives arts and culture. Aside from bridges, roads, aqueducts, sewers, hospitals, factories, and heated floors, what have the Romans ever done that's civilized? Left Carthage alone for a while. Holy fish at Delhi. There are some fish at Delhi, yeah. I do be fishing, big nice. Once we get this tile, I think we'll make a dock. It'll be our first dock of the nation. Let's go here. I'm not sure we want to attack uh, Kolkata into those guys. Actually, you know what? That probably would have been fine. Holy docks, Batman. We're just going to ignore the guy, we're going to head to here, we're going to skip over this other side and see what we can do. You can make a settlement. Unfortunately it does not make roads. It's the opposite of big nice. Um, big sad, really. I suppose we could eventually make a town over here, but... Okay. We could actually incorporate this, like, instantly, right? We could just click, 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 uh, and then incorporate and start working on it. Is there a reason we wouldn't want to do that? I don't think so. Oh my god, I'm stupid. We don't have enough Galax speed. We don't have enough Galax speed to... God damn it. There's a reason. There's a real good reason. We won't have enough gov- yeah, okay. I'm stupid. That's alright. Just very stupid. I apologize to everyone. For my dumb dumb. Just couldn't resist being stupid. Thanks, Obama. Uh... Let's get this. We're actually going to have a lot of upgrades we want to do with machinery. Let's take these guys out. Hopefully it doesn't push us forward. We're holding control, so it's not supposed to. Alright, perfect. I love that these trade posts are free to... ...repair with this. I wish they would auto repair, but beggars can't be choosers. I mean, they can, but they shouldn't. I 
Okay, so we can spawn artist and then like... Push culture powers. Maybe that's better than immigration? Immigration seems pretty good though. I mean, we know we want to make a town there. Do we actually even want the town there? Maybe we want the town... there. So we get this spot, we get this spot, and then we make the town here. And that way we'll get much better usage out of this stuff. And we'll need two claim territories to do this. That seems... I think we like that. Okay, we probably can push in this. I know they have... Their fortifications... Oh, they're at 80%. I wish they'd come out. I guess we could come here and try and push. But I think these guys can just push solo bolo. Maybe we want to go after Bursa. Bursa, I think we could actually incorporate. I think it's got enough land in its uh, area. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, they're not on pikes, they have spirit wind still. You know what we need is another frontliner guy. We have too much backline. We're just losing these guys repeatedly. So. I think we maybe rethink what we're doing here. And uh, instead build a couple pikemen. We do have two pikemen here. Hmm. Tarkus says, can we get a poll for chat's approval of the clean shave? Sure. We can. Did you read me, bro? I already know the answer is going to be no, but <laughs> the truth hurts. Chat never approves of the shave. Better than Humankind and Civ? I don't think I would say it's better than Civ 6. I think I'm enjoying it more than I enjoyed Humankind. But that's... that's... That's technically not what your question was, right? <laughs> question was, is it better? I don't know if better is the right word. The systems are fun and enjoyable. Uh, they seem poorly balanced. Which might hurt replayability. So... Maybe we... Maybe I'm getting hung up about pushing Kolkata here. I mean, we already caused so much damage. We have two cannons, too. So actually, that's probably pretty good at going after some of these. And you know what? Maybe we make one of these guys, hey, okay, what age leader, age four leader? I think that's not the age we're in. 
We don't want to do that. I think we don't even have the Warfare XP, actually. Oh, that's a lot of boys. Yeah. It's maybe not ideal. Hmm. Alright, maybe we try and ride back with some of these boys, too. was a mistake. Well, I mean, they're... Maybe it's fine. I don't know. If they think, I think if they come out for us, we still get a few good shots off on them. Oh my god. Just kidding. It's terrible. God, that was bad. Oh, I think that was bad. Fuck. Bro, this game's hard. Let's put the pike here. Oh, we shouldn't put it there. Oh well. Uh, I mean, maybe it takes a long time for that stuff to heal up. Maybe it's fine. And we have to lose troops there anyways. We probably should just wait until we had two armies, though. We have no frontliner guy, but I think that we should be able to do this. We're holding control, so they shouldn't push forward here. They didn't. Cool. They didn't even lose a the guy there. S sucks. Need food. Red Wizard needs food badly. Red Wizard is about to die. Um, need housing here. Do not have a slot upon which to put a house. So that sucks. Um, don't have enough Gav XP to integrate that. Also sucks. What is this? What is this? I mean, it's dead, but. these guys. And then, hmm, I have a note. Oh. Alright, let's get to, let's do the machinery thing. I think we're gonna do one more turn, guys. One more turn, boys. Also, check your Discord <laughs> DMs later, little bro. No red. Ray just coming in to say hi. Hey, Tark. Big nice. Bro beard for the win. Let's see what... Let's see the polls. Oh. Barely not approving of the shave. Interesting. The ones that voted yes are the ones that can't grow one. Bang, bang. Shots fired. It's terrible you live in an area with random gang shavings, basically. I was just minding my own business, making a dating tutorial of someone just burst in and shaved my beard. Truly the worst timeline. It's truly, truly, truly the worst timeline. Guy offers peace after friggin' wiping our stack, bro. Come on. Deep mine. Blast furnace. Rickworks. I think the big one for us is going to be the sawmill. But we can go enlightenment here. 
and then come back. We already got gunpowder. Thing, I think we kind of like printing fast here though. So where's our sawmill? Let's upgrade this bitch. You don't have one, but you do have a blast furnace. You can go deep mines as well. You do have a sawmill. All you've got is mines. It lines up, right? Yeah. Hmm. I almost want to use the culture power to create army. Which feels pretty bad, to be honest. After we, like, gave that army away. Um. For freezies, good dealsies. Uh. Let's build a cannon. Alright, so we got two frontliners here. We built the barracks, so we can build the Arbiquis. Man, they take forever to build out of here. Guess we're just building them out of the capital, so then maybe we do want to actually... It's like two capital turns. The thing is, we have this now. And we're going to try and claim territory twice, and then make a, a city or a town over here. A wood choppy town. We're gonna need more turns anyways. We've eureka so many times, we don't need this. Maybe we don't even rush. I think we don't even rush our culture power, to be honest. Wild, what a time to be alive. Not rushing the culture power. Come back here. I think we are gonna go after this at some point. We don't want to just yet. You don't mind the shave? General looking extra shiny today, big nice. Lord Dresder, hey, how's it going? Finally able to catch a live, live stream. I got bad news. This is the last turn we're playing. I'm so sorry. Actually, let's t we'll play one additional turn for Lord Dresdor. This was going to be the last turn. We'll make it the second to last turn. Go market manager. Can we just check and make sure that we're using all of our import and export slots? Delhi is kind of wild. It's wild that Delhi is, uh... We founded that city, right? Why is that under Greek? Oh, no, wait, no, that makes sense. I don't... Yeah, Delhi makes sense. I just... I'm being silly. My brain, so, my brain for whatever reason, was telling me that Delhi was in... Uh... Uh... <laughs> in, uh, India. <laughs> I don't think that's correct. Uh, I think we can go after these guys. Yeah. Alright. We do have some extra points here. Don't hate upgrading these to deep mines. And we gotta upgrade the Blast Furnace next turn in Olympia. So Olympia could use a little bit of help. So, where's the Blast Furnace? Let's find that first. Upgrade. We don't have enough government XP to integrate. Um, culture power is ready. <sighs> okay, we want to create a town. The problem is, is that we want to buy tile. Buy tile. Town? Doesn't quite work. Because we don't have enough 
Or maybe we have enough to claim territory twice? I don't think we do. And we need another another turn here. So we're gonna actually just bank our culture power and use it next turn. Um, all right, now you guys got a cannon. The thing is, oh Jesus, the thing is, is yeah, we're gonna raise army with this. Just like too fits in too perfectly to not do it like this. And then let's upgrade this. And I get started on another army behind after that. This guy roaming in the background is kind of annoying. So I think we could probably push Ankara. So let's come here and then wait the turn, burn the turn. And then was this the additional turn? Well, several hate speech laws are about to pass all over Europe. The Euro that is truly nigh. I don't necessarily hate hate speech being excluded, but also the problem is, is people might have different understandings of what constitutes hate speech. All right, so we'll get one more turn because I can't remember. All right, region is idle, Numbia. Warfare and culture. So this is going to be the last turn, guys. We'll repair this trade post. Get these guys to capital attack. And then here we can come in. We were holding control, so hopefully they don't advance. They don't advance. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hmm. Oh, we have no pike there. Yeah, that's awkward. Um, so let's not do that. Let's actually have these guys build a... Uh, let's have these guys build a pikeman. Alright, we're gonna go pike into upgrading the lifting tower. The problem is they have that army parked there now, too. Oh wait, we have an extra pike here. We need an Arbaquis. So you don't need to build that after all. You can build this. And then this. We'll move the pike over here. Although just having one pike is pretty... There's not enough tanking to, like, uh, go around. Alright. I don't think this we're gonna have enough to integrate. Yeah, we're not. <sighs> but do we have enough to... I think if we can put in the town, we want to. So let's go here. Let's claim territory. Let's claim this. And then... Let's... Do this, let's spawn an artist. Let's crush the artist. We culture power. Create a town. 
create it right here. Is there a road? I can't tell if there's a road. If there's a road from here to here to here. That's kind of nice. It looks like there's a road from here to here. Okay, yeah, it looks like a road's been made. I guess we want to create another town over here, maybe. A mining town, probably, for roading through here to here. Kind of awkward for a mining town, but maybe this is just an awkward city. It's probably just an awkward city. And then... Let us kind of just cruise through here. So... We don't need more housing. Do we only have one mid in here or one trash heap? And we got two trash heaps. I kind of don't want to build another. We're taking a look at our needs and seeing if there's anything we can improve upon before we before we save it up and conclude the stream. Oop, we can make more housing here and this has been unlocked. Perfect. Uh, let's make a poor house. Needs are super met and this guy doesn't need to do this anymore. You don't need to work here anymore. You can come over here. There's nothing left to hunt. What do with nothing left to hunt? Um, oh, he can go here. Perfect. Uh, and then... Don't have enough for a hunting camp. Awkward. But I think that's gonna be it. Ah, yes, let the leftists define hate speech. Well, I mean... Someone's gotta define it, right? In theory, it should be consensus. It shouldn't just be, like... Yeah. Did we do everything? I think we did. Maybe we do... One more turn for Lord Dresder. Thanks for the stream. Six timing, by the way. One to four a.m. in Japan, playing some casual Vic and watching. This was perfect to get relaxed before we go to bed. Big nice. We, we take those. Yeah, maybe we just end it. I'm freaking exhausted. Uh, not from streaming, from, from yesterday. Alright. Oh man, there's so many new people. Alright, we'll take one more turn. Are you gonna you stream something else today? No, we're gonna make us uh we're gonna do a video on the Tinto talk today though. We'll do one more turn because a bunch of people had also just joined. Which like I always feel bad when a bunch of people have joined the stream. Like the stream count's gone up a bunch, and then I'm like, see you guys later. I guess to some extent it's probably unavoidable. Also, we didn't want to forget to make this because I think this is gonna be pretty important. And then we could actually upgrade this town. And we're gonna make it a fishing town. Don't have enough to integrate this yet. One day. Bro, you try to move a settler through here? Bro. That's not allowed. We don't have anything pillaged, do we? No, we don't. Alright, these guys now have... Well, at least it's one thing. This is the weak link, I think. We, I think we'd rather have another uh, guy for that. Alright, there's a 200 stack here, and there's no one outside this place, so I think we just move these cab guys back. Say, do your worst. Hmm. Let's unload here. We are a scout, but we can upgrade if we need to fight an explorer. Oh, this is our first work boat. Alright, let's do this. Let's just work that. I think that it really incentivizes you to go, like... Uh, 
Well, actually, I, I wish we had access to dyes if we were going to go spice merchants. It was kind of how I'm thinking. All right, we're coming back. And then we'll have a road access to this way. I guess maybe our other town's gonna be like over here, just to make the road work or something. But also town further up here from these guys, but then I don't know where Olympia Towns. I was thinking Olympia Towns here eventually. I guess maybe that works. You could town here with uh, Abderia. Wow, these guys just expanded so much. Argos. See how we're doing on this. Minus 15 unrest. Guess we could go for a lifting tower. Could also expand the military a little bit, but I think we want the lifting tower out of Argos. We can crush an artist for another thing, but I don't don't quite want to, but maybe this is correct. Eventually the artist will get too expensive. And then what are we going to use the culture power for? Like, I think we'd rather wait until we hit that innovation thing. Something like that. I think we make a try and make a town like further out here from Delhi. Actually, towning here on, with Delhi makes a lot of sense. We'll eventually expand towards the fish, and then we also get to do the wood choppy, and then we can maybe town down this way too. Something like that. Uh, almost clicked end turn. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're set. All right, let's find someone for the Twitch people to raid. Ooh, looks like Tarkus is live. I think he is working on the Twitch mod still. Personally? Yeah, so Tarkus, we'll raid Tarkus. He is working on a CK mod. Must have just popped in before starting his own stream. So why not raid him? Um... Makes sense. Although we could find someone who's doing millennia. We'll do this. So we will say, we will bid ch Twitch chat goodbye. Big nice. Had a good time. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, except you're Twitch viewers, so you don't get to do those things. And, uh, yeah. Bye-bye now. For you guys. And then to the YouTube. You guys are my favorite chat. Big nice. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. You know, do the YouTube algorithm thing. We should be doing a uh, Tinto Talk uh, tutorial on the YouTube, or not tutorial, just talk about on the YouTube. This was a this was a pretty productive little episode here. We got like a couple more cities incorporated. This one's going to be incorporated soon, so the empire is expanding, and we're leaving ourselves tons of room to like really fill in the gaps, so we're not feeling too cramped, which was definitely what our first round felt like. And maybe we're we're probably overdoing it. We probably don't need this much space, but um, it is what it is. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye bye now.